Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today I have a bit of a chore to do and I thought I would show you my children's clothing storage system. Uh, we are, we have two kids right now, and we have two kids and right now our older is moving sort of on the cusp between 2T and 3T and our baby uh, is just moving out of zero to three months to three to six months already, uh, which is crazy, she is just two months old now. And since I have to move some of their clothes around today, I thought I would show you the way that we store and transition um, and you know keep in storage for later use all of their clothes. So uh, I will go ahead and get started and show you as I go. There's a lot of clothes in this drawer that have started to get a bit too snug. So first I'm pulling out all of the pants that are far too short and the shorts that are too small and some of these jammies are getting very tight. Uh, so that's how I knew it was time to move up to size 3T. Uh, I'm definitely keeping a few pairs of pants that still fit her because I know that that's going to be important as we're going into the winter months. I already went through and removed all of her long sleeve shirts in size 2T because they were starting to get way too snug in the arms and so that's another reason I knew it was time to move up. Hopefully we'll have some long sleeve shirts in storage. We have a very simple bin system where anything that's too small gets tossed in a bucket in the closet. We were lucky to get this hand-me-down dresser that's not very pretty, but it sits in the closet and that's where we keep some of the clothes that are not quite up to size yet. Those are the too big and they have their own drawers. We get lots of hand-me-downs from friends and family as well as gifts and so I'm pulling out everything, a full drawer's worth of 3T clothes that were handed to us from a friend and it's time to put those into the drawer to wear. I reserve the right to refuse or not use any of the clothes if I don't like them. Oh this is cute. Look at this one. That one. It's a Minnie and Mickey Mouse sweater with a skirt on it. Doesn't that look cool? It's a great so that you can throw on. It sure is. And then uh, dresses and skirts go in the closet. My two-year-old is definitely getting into frilly, pretty dresses. It's really cute. Dresses tend to have a bit longer longevity because um, there's no length that you have to worry about. But I, I'm taking out a bunch of the dresses in the closet, mostly because we have a limited number of hangers. And honestly, there's only so many dresses that my daughter can wear. We really only put her in one once a week, occasionally, you know, more often just for dress up, but really she just wears a dress to church on Sundays. So I'm just taking out things that she doesn't wear, that hasn't worn in a while, things that are out of season, um, and some that are just, you know, been in there a little bit longer. We got a lot of really cute new dresses in size 3T, so I think we need to give her an opportunity to wear the new ones. We have a few 4T items that have to just be put in this top drawer, which is my daughter's grow into drawer. That will definitely be getting more and more full as she gets closer to that size, just from experience. Whenever we receive clothes as gifts or a bag of hand-me-downs, I just have to go through and sort through them Put anything that she has not grown into yet in the drawer in the closet and then anything that is already her size can go into her wardrobe immediately. Now it's time for baby number two's wardrobe. Uh, basically because she's smaller her clothes all fit into one drawer. So this top drawer has been her current wardrobe the zero to three months. The newborn stuff fit in here too until she outgrew that. And then this next drawer is the growing into, which makes it really easy when she's growing super fast. Fortunately, we were able to just grab some pajamas from this three to six month drawer as soon as she started fitting them. Um, it was pretty much overnight that she went from zero to three to three to six. Uh, and so it was really convenient to already have it ready in her drawer, ready to go. There are more clothes than this that are in zero to three month size, but she grew into the next size so quickly that by the time uh, they were washed, she had already run out, uh, run into the next size up. So we'll have to, when we fold the clothes, um, get all of the old stuff that's too small for her and make sure to uh, siphon it off and throw it into the bin. I think it's kind of extra fun to pull out the wardrobe for baby number two because of all of the memories attached to all these clothes from when my first daughter wore them. 
It's crazy to think it's only been two years. They grow so fast. The next step is to pull out the bins from the garage. Um, this one is labeled 18 months, which is crazy. It's the next step up and I probably won't be able to empty the entire thing, but there are a couple pieces in here that I think will fit soon. Because we were able to squeeze her into a few things for a lot longer than they technically fit, all of the mid-sized socks, um, a pair of tights, some hats, some things that did not get put in bins until they were quite a bit too small are in big boxes that are larger than they should be. So that is the only issue with my system here is that I have to go digging through boxes that are for slightly older sizes to get the things that Bridget is going to be growing into relatively soon, like socks. And that's everything I've got to show you today. Basically, when you're looking at storing your kids' clothes, you need a place to store stuff that doesn't fit yet, a place obviously to store the stuff that fits now, and then a place to toss the stuff that doesn't fit anymore. And if you're planning to have more kids, then that turns into the first category for number two, if you're having the same gender. Um, I guess one of the benefits of everything in clothing being so gendered is that you don't really have to separate like gender neutral from gendered stuff and it's just this is just a box of girl clothes. I think I don't really mind buying another pack of onesies instead of pulling out a bin and sorting through it again. So who knows what the next one will be a boy or a girl but for now um, this is how we're recycling all of our girl clothes. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the, the bell and all of the good stuff. I post planner content on Thursdays as well as family stuff like this, um, infant and newborn lifestyle stuff on Sundays. So I'll see you in my next video on Thursday and until then, have a great weekend, bye.